2014 will be a difficult year of economic adjustment for Cyprus as we implement the obligations under the loan agreement, which is the only realistic plan available to gain the trust of the international markets, which is a necessary first step to exit the Troika supervision. Beyond the obligation to implement what has been agreed, which should be taken for, for granted, the adjustment of the public sector spending to the country's economic capabilities, the structural reforms in the wider public sector and the deleveraging in the banking and private sectors will ultimately result in a more competitive economy. Regaining trust, building competitiveness requires hard work, commitment, discipline and patience. In addition to this pragmatic approach, we also need to adopt an extrovert forward-looking attitude in order to create the growth opportunities for the future on the basis of the economy's strength, the quality of the people, the geographic location and the natural resources. In this effort, we need to ensure that we have in place the necessary infrastructure which can be achieved, especially under today's uh, circumstances, through successful private-public sector partnerships and foreign investments in the country. PwC recently carried out the economic impact study for Hermes uh, Airport. The aim of the study was to assess the impact of Hermes Airport to the Cyprus economy. According to the, to the study, the contribution of the airports to the GDP of the country is approximately 3%. To put that into context, uh, that is approximately the uh, contribution of the um, agriculture sector for which we have a very big ministry in Cyprus looking after it. The further development of connectivity of the airports is also a necessary ingredient of the development of Cyprus as a tourist destination, another important contributor to our economy. Furthermore, the position of Cyprus as a business hub, which in fact contributes more than tourism to the economy and has a multiplying effect for other sectors, necessitates regular air connectivity, especially as international developments make it necessary for companies with international operations to have substantial presence on the island. And therefore, these executives need to have regular connectivity throughout the year with their home countries. Therefore, air connectivity represents an important ingredient for the further development of Cyprus as a tourist destination and as a business hub, both important ingredients of this forward-looking extrovert attitude that an approach that is necessary if Cyprus is ultimately, in a few years' time, returned back to growth. Whilst we need to learn from our mistakes, and I think we are doing a lot of that uh, recently, we also need uh, to build on our successes. I believe that the airports are one such success, a successful private-public sector partnership project that provided the necessary infrastructure for the country to help grow the economy. Therefore, I would like to congratulate Hermes Airports for organizing this important conference and also uh, the Minister of um, uh, Communication and Works for supporting this uh, important conference. Cyprus is a small, resilient economy with highly educated entrepreneurial people. The people of Cyprus uh, demonstrate admirable maturity and resilience. The effort to get the economy back on growth is difficult. It requires hard work, discipline and patience. But as I said before, it also requires a forward-looking and extrovert attitude to create the opportunities for the future. I firmly believe that having high-quality airports with regular connectivity is a, crit is a critical um, part of this effort to capture the future growth opportunities for the country. Thank you very much.